us are here. You know, today is not gonna be a hot shot video, but I decided I'm still gonna take you guys with me and let's see what we can get into. What's going on guys and gals? Chris the Bonafide Hustler comes to you live from the inside of my spaceship. Today we're not going to do a hot shot, I don't believe, but we'll do a couple other things. Definitely get some behind the scenes on like some of the other things that I do. So anyways, welcome to the channel. Welcome to the channel. Subscribe. What I do on a part-time basis is I buy stuff from garage sales, estate sales, yard sales, flea markets, pawn shops, swap meets, big box stores, and thrift stores, typically used goods, and I put that stuff on eBay, Amazon, Craigslist, my antique booth, and other consignment avenues in town to make money. So anyways, hope to have you as a subscriber. This week is an off week technically for workouts, so I'm gonna get a super, super light uh, workout in, uh, mainly for just circulation, but more than less, I just wanna make sure that my uh, you know, nervous system recuperates from the previous six weeks of working out. That's the very first step today. After that, I'm gonna be working on uh, the green room meetup stuff at a coffee shop. I'm going to work on the guide a little bit. Also have to go to the antique booth and pick up an item that's sold on eBay for a lot of money actually, and get that thing and start boxing that one up. It's gonna be pretty big though. Then I have to still package up other eBay things that sold over the weekend. And I also wanna show you some of the things that I found last Saturday from garage sales. All right, let's start the day. Let's go. Just pull up to the gym. I'm pumped to be in here because I don't have to tax my body like I usually go ham with my workouts, you know? So I am uh, gonna keep it light, low, chill, and just, uh, yeah, just keep it fun. It's gonna, I think it's gonna rain today, which kind of sucks. But anyways, okay, so I wanna get in there. One of the things I wanna let you guys know about is that if you really begin your day with something active, it doesn't have to be the gym, okay? It could be walking a mile in your neighborhood. It can, you know, and then, and then you eventually bump it up to a mile and a half, and then two miles, and then one day you have a four miler, on maybe on the weekends. But either way, starting off the day with something active is extremely, extremely important because not only does it give you time to reflect and think and kind of set up your day in your head, like what's really important, um, but it allows you to enter the day in a non-reactional state. You get to approach the day in a very low stress kind of situation. And plus, it's really important to work out, I believe, first thing because you prioritize your health first. And that's kind of like the order in life that you should, and that's the, oh, what the hell? And that's the order in life that I think it always should be. It should be your, your personal health first, right? Love for others, money, that kind of way. So prioritize yourself first. Because if you're not if you're not there in good health first, I mean, how, how are you supposed to deliver for all the other things? Like, what, what, is it, what does the money matter if you're not healthy enough to enjoy it? What does the love matter if you're not healthy enough to even give the love in the first place? Like, that's kind of the way I think about it. Could be a weird way to look at it, but I, can't, I honestly think that if you're not healthy enough to really deliver to other people or enjoy your own self, that's an issue. So I try to make sure that that issue does not occur and that's the reason why I work out first thing in the morning. So I'm gonna pop into the gym real quick and then we'll go to the coffee shop. All right, got done with the workout. Freaking super light workout. I don't know if I'm technically supposed to be in the gym this week. I mean, I told myself I was gonna take a week off, but that's very hard to do once you've been doing something, you know, arguably half of your life, you know, actually over half my life. So I went in and did, I went in and did really light weights on everything just to keep the circulation going and really to keep active in the morning. All right, so let's go to the coffee shop and get some work done. Uh, work on some green room things. So work on the next guide. Have you guys guessed it yet? Come on. It should be pretty easy by now to... What's something I sell a lot of? Think about it. Oh man, we got rain on the window. <sighs> Better hold off rain. I do want to get my ride in today. Oh man! I really want to do a hot shot today, but uh, I got too many things to do. So I'm gonna knock out a lot of these things. I'm gonna try to... I really want to make progress on this next guide. I also want to make 
big progress on the green room meetup stuff. So if you're interested in coming to the meetup, check out the first link in the description below. It's going to be in Austin, Texas, June 6, 7, 8, and 9. That's right. It's four days. It's a really nice, relaxed meetup week. This is the first year we're ever opening it up to the public. So you should go check it out. Um, there's a meetup and a seminar. Now those two, two things are paid. You're going to need a ticket to get into those things, but seminar, you're going to learn a lot of cool stuff, you know, pretty much intermediate slash advanced stuff. The final event at a ranch is just awesome uh, barbecue dinner. We have vegetarian options too. You know, the whole week is, the whole meetup week is basically a very relaxed way to be around a bunch of resellers and learn a bunch of tips and tricks and have a bunch of fun, especially in Austin, Texas, which is, it's a fun town to live in, it really is. But don't move here, because the resale opportunities suck so bad, don't do it. I'm telling you, don't. There's nothing to buy in this town. No one makes any money if you're a reseller in this town, nobody. Yes, I'm raising the roof to Nora Jones, because if you're skilled enough, you can do that. At Summer Moon Coffee here in Avery Ranch. I'm about to get in there, but I do want to shout out a couple funny movies that people suggested with the word cheddar in them. So uh, a couple videos ago, I asked you guys to use the word cheddar, which is one of my favorite words ever, and put it into your favorite movie title. So let's, let's see what some people have come up with here. I want to read the really funny, funny ones. Here's a good one right here. Pixelated Chidad, and a bunch of people actually wrote this one, but Raiders of the Lost Cheddar. I like that one. That one's good. Um, this one was pretty fun. Our, our Journey to Freedom had a couple good ones in here. Monty Bonafide and the Holy Cheddar. I thought that was good. Close Encounters of the Cheddar Kind. Ooh, I like that one a lot. Um, Brenda Clausen said Cheddar Blanca. That's pretty funny. Lynn Dixon, that's a pretty good one. The Never Ending Cheddar Story. Wow, I love that. And I do love Falcor too. Here's a good one from Cool Hand Souk, who happens to be like probably one of my most active subscribers. Uh, Cheddar Wars, The Cheddar Strikes Back, The Return of the Cheddar. That is funny. I'm sorry, I like that. It's, he, he, hit the whole, he hit the whole Cheddar trilogy on that one. Adam Kelsey. A fistful of cheddar. That's pretty funny. Enjoy everything. Who probably knows a little bit about me, but says the endless cheddar. That's pretty good. I like that one. This one's pretty good. Steve S says cheddar off dead. It's pretty funny. That's good. That's actually a really good one. Thrifting twenty four seven. Invasion of the cheddar snatchers. Josh Josh Enzor. Honey, I blew up the cheddar. <laughs> uh, Joe Nunez. Cheddar fellas. All right, so there's like a million of those. Uh, the video is titled, Waiting in Line for Three Hours. Go check it out and see some of those funny comments. I'm gonna get into this coffee shop, start working on some green room stuff, and also work a little bit on the guide. And then I have to go to the antique booth and pick up a really interesting find that sold last night. And I think it was five bucks at a garage sale. And I'll tell you what I sold it for when I get to the booth. <laughs> All right, done with the coffee shop. Uh, yeah, worked on a lot of green room stuff and a little bit of the guide stuff. Uh, showed you guys on the video uh, some of the schedule that's basically official now. And that is gonna be fun. And that's for the seminar. So we're gonna have five really awesome speakers talking about everything from you know eBay to Amazon to private label to drop shipping. Etc. So even Poshmark. So I'm confident it's gonna be a lot of fun. Definitely check out the first link down below. Come to the meetup. I think you would really enjoy it. All right, now it's time to get the protein shake going on. Even though I didn't have a banger of a workout, I still had just basically a maintenance type workout. And you know, I, sometimes I can't decide what's better, like taking a week completely off and just letting the body 100%, you know, have no stress to it, or just keep the circulation going. And so, it's, so this week, which I'm supposed to have completely off. I'm deciding to keep the circulation going with very minimal weight, uh, super high rep. So, God, this protein never freaking. I can never get that bottom part. It's this vegan protein. The bottom part always sticks. I should have taken that guy's advice saying like, add the protein after the water, but like, I'm just not, I'm just too stubborn. Oh, it's getting better though. About 500 more of these, I should be good to go. 
Oh, so now I know why the shake weight's a good workout. But those like Indian clubs, you know? Those like wooden things. This is this is hard. Forget P90X, man. Just keep doing this. You get all the girls. It's not getting any better. All right, forget it. Um, so if you're like, ooh, the banana phone segment's about to come. Whoo, here it comes. No, I don't have any bananas. I ran out of them. So today we're doing crispy plantain chips. Um, I wish they could be a little bit healthier because these have some sunflower oil in them, but I'm gonna use this as my carb, which is basically a catalyst to help this protein get to where it needs to go in my body. Yeah, so I'll do about a handful, like this much. Whatever the calories that a banana would be. So I'm thinking it's probably like this. All right, some of this this much. Uh, you know what, I'm hungry. A little bit more. So I'm gonna do some plantain chips, which are real good. These are not uh, sweet, not terribly salty. So if you've never had them before, they're amazing. And if you're like, that looks like a banana. Well, you know, it's kind of banana-ish, but with like no flavor. So uh, that's what plantain chips are. If you go to some of these island places, Puerto Rico, tons of plantains. I mean, in fact, more than rice. You know, they use plantains as like their main carb. Uh, Dominican Republic, I want to say, had a bunch of plantain stuff. So as you get closer to the equatorial line, or am I saying that right? I think you see a lot more plantains used as a staple kind of food. These just taste like stale potato chips. But they're really good. And apparently they're very, very slow releasing carb as well. So that's, that's a huge plus. And good though. Hello? That doesn't work. Now I was going to go to the antique booth today. I'm deciding not to. Because my wife is going to go there and pick up the big thing that's sold. So we'll see it when we get home. She actually got off work really early today. So... She was at a Lowe's, close to the antique booth. I told her to go into the antique booth and go pick up this one thing. So, she's gonna bring it home, we'll look at it. I'm actually gonna go see them tomorrow. This is my favorite band of all time. Although I don't listen to them all the time, it is my favorite band. And that band is The Darkness. They are coming to Austin, Texas tomorrow. Uh, I've seen them the very first time they came to Austin, the second time they came to Austin, and now this will be the third time I believe they've made it to Austin, and uh, yeah. I've loved seeing the band grow. The music is good. They've had fallouts just like any band would. If you're into the 80s kind of hair metal, wacky stuff, I mean, this band is just, I think, the best, honestly. So, I'm gonna see them tomorrow. When I see them tomorrow, I will bring the vlogging camera that way, just for that concert, because that's gonna be epic. He heading home right now, I'm gonna take care of some stuff, and then I'm gonna show you guys that thing that sold this morning. Okay, so Mike the Postman is actually in the neighborhood. I just passed him by, yeah, but I don't have my packages on me. So I gotta go home, and find five things, get the labels on them, and go meet Mike. That's probably the first thing I need to do since he's in the neighborhood right now, confirmed. And yeah, that way I don't have to go to the freaking post office. Which isn't far, it ain't. Which isn't even far, but like, it's much better to just see Mike anyway. He's my boy. Well, he's not my boy. Like, not my child, but like, he's my boy. Hey guys, we gotta get packages out. Petey, we gotta get the packages out! Petey! What? You guys gonna get the packages out? We gotta get the packages out. Also just went to Costco. I'm gonna show you some of my pickups. Organic Mediterranean salad kit. I like this kind of stuff. It's just better than just blending it all up and merging everything together. These are just much faster. And this is only like five bucks. It makes two days worth of salads. Some bananas, avocados, two things of avocados. Oh man, these blackberries are the best. Driscoll's organic, got three of those and some mushrooms to maybe put on the grill or skillet. I don't know yet, we'll see. Real quick pickup from Costco, nothing crazy, just thought I'd show it to you guys. Let's get these packages out of here. So, that's the big one right there. It's a wine bottle, it's a prop, right? It was like a $5 fine, sold for 191 bucks and some change. Some cycling shoes sold. We have a bag that sold, I think this was a $10 bag, sold for 50. And then we have a $3 kind of Howler Brothers kind of thing I picked up at a Salvation Army. So for $45 and some change. Uh, it says there's one more thing I need to ship now, but I can't figure out what it is. Come on. I don't understand why it says five, but there's only four. So stupid. Weirdest thing. This is in my sold stuff. So here's all the ones that sold. And this one is in the sold thing, right? Sold, ship, 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 go, go, go. And then this one says awaiting payment, but I already got paid for it. It's kind of weird. So anyways, this is going to go to some place. I have no idea. Azola Boots, gonna get those things a label. Got the packages right here. I don't have the big wine bottle because my wife hasn't arrived home yet. So yeah, no big wine bottle, but that's okay. I'm gonna get these four out of the five out of here right now.
All right, let's go find Mike, which I, th I think he was in my cul-de-sac like 10 seconds ago, but I was too slow. So he's here somewhere. Where are you, Mike? Oh, there you are. Wow, sweet. Get out of my cul-de-sac for one second. There he is. Dang, Mike. Let's get this done. I mean, he's not my boy, but like, he's my boy. Got presents, man. Here, I made it a little easier for you. I have to have my black crate bag. Is that okay with you? <laughs> I'll trade you. Oh, you'll trade me, huh? I'll trade you one of the smaller okay. ones for yours. I like okay. Yours. Yeah, this one's awesome. Those on your bike, right? Huh? I have one on my bike too, yeah. That works. There's the first. He's just popping them. Look at that. People are all jazzed up about you on my ride alongs now, man. Well, yeah. <laughs> Duh, that's Mike. It's the mailman. All right, last one. Getting scanned up. There it goes. Why'd you say ooh, man? Getting scanned there for a second. Oh, I was like, ooh as in bad? This is an old scanner. Okay, okay. So we'll see uh, Mike a little bit later on in the week, but I'll see you guys at home. I got my black crate back. I'm not giving that to Mike, no way. I mean, he's a cool guy and all, but nobody gets my black crates, bro. Not even Mike the Mailman. I'm gonna make his head as small as I can real quick. See if I can do it. All right, I'm gonna make his head, all right. Oh, look at that ant head. Up on a steering wheel, ant head right there. Bam, so ant. All right, guys, let's go to the house. It's a whopping 100 feet down the road. I should walk. I thought Mike was gonna be like way far away, but like he's super close today, so all right. Oh, look, my house is down there. Yay, yay, back into my house, yay. Oh, E-Money's home, I see his truck. E-Money's home. Let's go see what E-Money's up to. All right, E-Money, shalom, E-Money. E-Money. Yeah. Is this a Cribs tour? <laughs> no, I'm not. I thought you were my uh, Craigslist sale. Oh, yeah. I no like, way, oh, really? Like, yeah, there's. They should be here any second. Now. Really? You're making a deal right now? Yeah, here in a second. Oh man, I, I just thought that you were the person. Is this E-Money Cribs edition? No, not right now. This kind of looks like Cribs, doesn't it? Look at this. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Where'd your hair go? Uh, I can't go into someone's house that cut their hair like that viciously, man. That was a vicious haircut. Here, I need to open up the garage. Why would you show the people out there your garage? Because. This is a different type of MTV Cribs. This is uh, e, e Money's Cribs tour. Let me show you the garage. <laughs> <laughs> no way. <laughs> I'm gonna go ride later. You wanna come? Uh, Before it rains? Man, it was raining a lot earlier. Oh, this is E Money's Crib? Yep. <clears throat> so, this is the whip that I'm gonna be selling. Ooh, you're selling a whip? That's the whip. All right. Didn't we go in on this deal? We did. Yeah, we did. What's the whip selling for? 40. That's my first guest. 50. 50. Oh, that's good. 50. Okay. All right. I started it at, I think, 80. 80? Yeah. Okay. I've had so many people, like, interested in it. Like, cool. 50 is good. How much do okay. we pay for these things? 25 for four of them, I think. For four? I think so. Sweet. Dang, E-Money, you're remembering all the deals. <laughs> E-Money, at one point, wanted to build a skateboard deck wall, and so he has all these skateboards in a box from garage sales in thrift stores. I think they've only been used by CP whenever he comes by. Yeah, College Picker uses them sometimes I when he comes by. I think he uses this one or that one. I don't know. Yeah. Well, looks like your skate wall is going very well because uh, the wall looks pretty clear and the skateboards are in a box in your garage. I haven't figured out what to do with it yet. Cool, E-Money. So this is E-Money's garage. It's uh, slightly cleaner than mine, sort of. Yeah, this one needs a lot of work. Anyway, all right. Well, E-Money's going to sell this. And uh, I guess you'll be seeing my house soon with the money. Where are you going to be riding at? Uh, Brushy Creek. Are you going to come? It's going to be awesome. Probably in like mm -hmm. two hours. Maybe. Maybe. Okay, can I drone you? Can I Mavic Pro you? Yeah, just don't don't lose the drone. I see, can't I can't lose it. It's, it's a small garage. There we go. E money. <laughs> Dude, you're gonna lose it. E money. E money. You're gonna lose his money. E money and his it. money. All right, that's enough screwing around. I'll let him do his Craigslist sale. We'll do a cribs edition one day. <laughs> don't be looking for the Craigslist sale. I saw you looking in the distance. E money. I dare you to. Can you make one revolution in the cul-de-sac before they come? You think you can? Jeez. I'd give anything if this car came down the cul-de-sac right when you're doing it. Oh my gosh. Alrighty, money. This is it. Okay, it's got a coaster brake. It has a coaster brake, that's what he said. Ooh, Ooh okay, you money. I think you need a larger frame.
Oh my God. We're totally looking down the cul-de-sac for the person to come down for the Craigslist sale. Can you make it? Oh, don't break it. You got it, E-Money. Boy, if this guy comes down. I hope they, they can also pay for an MCL repair. All right, you good? Uh, yeah. Wow, that was pretty good, man. It actually rides really well. Me yeah. That out. Maybe we should take this oh, to the there, trails there today. See? Oh yeah, oh, here comes the person coming down the cul-de-sac. Dude, that was so close. <laughs> oh my gosh, dude. Right that was so clutch. <laughs> that was a terrible idea. It actually worked out pretty well for the vlog, but we should never do that again. <laughs> All right, here comes the car. All right, guys, we'll see you later. Let him make E-Money make his it's money. It's for my niece. We can get out of here. Yeah, it's for your niece, you loser. <laughs> All right, see you later, you money. Yeah. And the deal goes down. Oh! <laughs> I totally caught it on camera. The wind blew the bike, like almost hit their van. What a, what an idiot. E money. <laughs> what is going on, E money? Is it your uh, MTV crib tour? No, not right now. Time for me to, to do your crib tour? No, it's time to hair to cut your. It's time for you to cut your hair even more. Actually, it's time to give you some money. Okay. Ooh, that was close. I thought that they weren't going to do it. Really? Yeah. Well, probably because you almost hit their van. No. <laughs> <laughs> you idiot. I caught it on camera. Uh, hopefully, it comes out for the vlog. Which one do you want? Uh, I don't care. I'll do this one this time. Okay. All right. Yes. I'll let you know when the next one comes in. You know I'm, sur I'm saving up for a surfboard, right? Mm hmm Are you saving up for a surfboard, too? Uh, you should. Yeah, I don't know what I'm saving up for right now. I'm just saving. I'm doing like uh, 30 to 40 percent of all my Craigslist profits go to a surfboard fund. How much? 30 to 40 percent. Man, that's super good. I know, isn't that crazy? Bye, Austin. That's what's up. All right, all right, man. See you around. Later. Yep, gonna get myself a surfboard when I go to Cali in August. So I'm just doing a little fun saving up kind of thing right now. There's my little saving box. I'm just gonna do it the old school way. Whoosh. There you go. Ow. All right, so this is one of those adobo bowls with uh, an avocado, half an avocado and some salmon on top, so some extra protein. I'm gonna be recording the shipping for whatever I shipped out, plus the sales prices. And then I'm gonna probably list some eBay stuff. So there's my SD card. So this is how I like to list everything. I put everything on, you know, I take it with a high-res camera. I take all my pictures with a high-res camera, put it on the SD, and I list this stuff just like that. I do drag and drop holding the shift key down and I import all these pictures into eBay quickly. So there we go. We're going to be listing the solitaire game today, the classic football game right there. Even though it's a 2002, uh, I'll probably still be using the word retro. And yeah, so that thing that I was picked up last week, the scuba fins. Uh, what else? We have a hat, some fur boots, and these Patagonia uh, things that I picked up last week as well. All right, so the wifey made it home. I'm going to go out to her car and uh, grab the bottle that's sold. This thing's huge. $5 bottle. $191 it's sold for. I better make sure I pad the absolute hell out of this thing. Whoa! There it is! Check it out! Oh my gosh! Wow! So beautiful. Even has the booth tag on it. Ugh. So I used the booth for storage stuff too, you know? Like this could have sold in the booth, I would have pulled it off the eBay. And since sold on eBay, I pull it out of the booth. And the chances, the chances of selling something on eBay and it selling on the booth that day before me getting to it is so slim. It's a good way that I double list certain items. It is heavy. Look at this. Jeez. Let's go in the house. I have to ship this off tomorrow. Yikes. Something tells me FedEx. What do you guys think? Uh, come on. Let's go, bottle. Let's go. Those gains, those bottle gains. On second thought, I think I'm gonna keep this bottle. I'm just gonna keep it right here. Okay, so before I end this video, I'm gonna show you a couple of the finds from last weekend that were really cool. Um, we definitely, you know, bags the bucks in full representation here. Got two internal frame backpacks, a um, bunch of little fanny packs too, which is neat, some bike panniers. Look at this, do I win the day or what? Yeah, if you're thinking, is that a vintage super soaker or a retro one at least? Yes, it is. And when I did pump it at the garage sale, and squeeze the trigger, it had pressure, which is good. Yep. Oh man, is there some stranger things going on or what? Some walkie talkies for a dollar. Oh, these are just a keeper right here. Who had this when you were little, hmm? It's okay to admit it, because this thing is red. Pan Am bag, 
Uh, it's a repro though, of course. I uh, got a cool bicycle. Um, here are the pedals for it. I'll show you the bicycle in a later video. Some climbing shoes, some other random stuff and goodies. But yeah, this is the pickups from last weekend. Solid, solid pickups. Probably, I don't know. At, at max, I would think 500 uh, resale, but could be in the 600 range. Lowest, probably 400. That's the video. I know it's not a hot shot, but it's a little bit more hustler life oriented. In fact, maybe we'll call it hustler life. But yeah, it's two o'clock in the day. I want to get this thing edited for you guys. So do me a favor. Let's hit the like button viciously. All right. The Bonafide Brigade, let's viciously hit this thing. Uh, if not for just the amazing video that you just saw, but for some of those amazing cheddar movies that we heard earlier. Those were funny. Uh, but hey, I had a lot of fun hanging out with you guys. Hit the like button. Leave me a comment. Gosh, leave me a comment. I love comments. I'll see you in the next Bonafide Hustler ride along hotshot or Hustler Life video. Take it easy. Goodbye.